is 8.50. What are you looking at this morning? That's right. <laughs> Things are getting a little crazy here at Good Morning Tri-State. We, uh, we'll get the camera off me. Well, let's see who else has joined me here this morning. We're talking about Oktoberfest. You seem a little self-conscious. I'm a little, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I don't wear hats a lot, so that's all it is. It's this just is I'm uncomfortable. This is the end look. Well, yeah? if you're not dressed like me, you got to What, this is this, the alternative? This is the end look. This okay. is the minimum to wear at Oktoberfest. Okay, well, it's happening next week. Mick Knoll is here. Chris Kemper. Basically, so we can talk less about the hats. Let's talk about the food that's on the table for a moment. The food. These are some of my favorite foods. We have the super bratwurst right there. That's always a self uh, favorite of mine. Also, especially, we have the ghetto balls. These are ghetto that we take, spice up bread and fry, and it just goes over great. People Larry was raving them. about these. He had them oh, earlier this week. They're yeah. terrific. Now, Mick, you said you've done this from the beginning. Since the beginning. Since the beginning of Oktoberfest Cincinnati, we were one of the first ones that joined together with several other people and uh, got the ball rolling, got the barrel rolling. <laughs> yeah. And, and Chris, you know, it's bigger than ever, basically Absolutely. what it comes down to. It's just growing as so, we go So this on is here. our 37th year. We've been doing this for a long time. Mick's been really doing it for a long time. Yeah. Um, but this is the biggest one we've ever held. We're actually moving one block to the east. So Vine Street will stay open this year. Okay. Fountain Square will be the west anchor of Oktoberfest. Okay. And we're moving more to the east on 5th Street. So we have more rooms for beer gardens, more rooms, more room for fest tents, and more room for beer, which really at Oktoberfest, That's everyone, really what it comes down to. everyone <laughs> wants to drink the beer. We're going to have 52 kinds of beer this year at Oktoberfest. Last year we had 40. I mean, this has always been a great really? beer festival, but now it's really as many beers as there are weeks in the year. You know, I mean, we have a lot of beer that we have available. And we have Hof Barrel coming for the first time since 2005. We have Yingling bringing a few different kinds of beer. And of course, Sam Adams brings their Oktoberfest and their lager. Um, Jim Cook, the founder of uh, Boston Beer Company and a Cincinnati native, okay. will be here for the opening ceremonies and he'll be meeting with fans throughout the day. And then Saturday night, we're going to attempt to set the record for the largest Steinhoist, largest toast ever. You've been practicing, Mick. I, I've been you've practicing. Got the, okay, the <laughs> swing down with the arm. I like that. Okay, so that'll be Saturday night. I just want to throw out some quick numbers that are on your website about mm -hmm. how much food you do. 80,500 bratwursts is what you recommend. 20,000 cream puffs. 700 pig's tails. This is a huge event. It is a, we, this big. is the largest Oktoberfest outside of Munich. It's the second largest in the it's world. Right this is truly America's Oktoberfest. And it's something the entire region rallies around. We're hearing from people that are coming in town from Detroit and Buffalo and Tampa. And they're coming in from all over the place. We're hearing that the hotels are going to be booked. We're ready to okay. put on a big party. It's well, we can, party. obviously, <laughs> judging by the heads. Chris, thanks so much. Good to see you. Make the food look terrific. Thank you. We'll be there next Enjoy week. it. All right. all right, you can get all the information about Oktoberfest that's next week right now at WCPO.com.